Rick, first of all, thanks for a great place to sit down, plenty of shade, and certainly one of the most unique places to sit at uh, Airport Fest 2013 here at Meacham Field. Tell us about what is undoubtedly a unique aircraft. Well, thanks, Jim, for having us here. Um, we think it's uh, unique and has a lot of opportunities to do a lot of different things. The Discovery 201 is a 5,000-pound gross takeoff weight aircraft. It's a twin utility plane. It's made to be the flying SUV almost. Short field takeoff and landing capabilities are very good. It's full amphibious. It'll go on skis. It's got these nice back doors here you see for loading and unloading weird and strangely shaped cargoes. We're very excited about it. We've had a lot of interest. We're just finishing our FAA certification, which should be in the next few months, and we're looking forward to putting the aircraft into production. Tell me what some of the mission profiles are for an airplane like this. We designed it as a type of bush plane utility aircraft, and that was its original thing. We keep finding new people come up with new applications all the time. It'll hold up to seven people, so it obviously has some air taxi, air charter capabilities. As you can imagine, just looking at it, we've had a lot of interest up in Alaska and Canada. We have a tremendous amount of interest in international operations. We're actually flying a diesel engine version of it right now, and we're going to certify that. And in places where Avgas isn't readily available, we still find a tremendous amount of demand. We're seeing the need for small cargo and charter operations in many countries that hadn't done it before. We see places that are where America was in the 50s, where they're starting to find new ways to do things with general aviation, and we think that we'll help them get there where they want to be. What kind of performance envelope are you offering? This is a relatively small airplane at 5,000 pounds gross takeoff weight, but it'll carry up to 2,000 pounds in useful load. Normal cruise is about 120 knots, but it's got under 1,000 feet in takeoff and landing with max rose takeoff weight. It'll get you out in trouble with one engine. It's not fantastic, of course, but it's serviceable and it'll get you back home alive. Cruise up to about 20,000 feet is the max ceiling on it. And we have two Continental IO 360s at 210 horsepower each, and we get great performance out of them. And of course, everything we do in this aircraft, we try to keep it something that's standard and easy to service. So when you're flying in and out of the bush, you can do it. It's mostly aluminum aircraft for that reason. And we like that because people know how to fix aluminum out in the bush and over the place. How's the FAA been to work with certifying what is obviously an unconventional design? We we're actually lucky. It was originally certified in 2006 in Russia, and so it's a validation. I must say the FAA has really been helping us a lot and very anxious to get it done. They're Despite what you read, we've had a great experience of working with them and to get the airplane ready, and we're just on the last leg, so I can say that it's been a good opportunity for us and it's been a good experience. What kind of price point are we looking at and where will it be manufactured out of? We're looking at starting selling price being around $950,000, and we're going to be manufacturing it in Melbourne, Florida. We're working with Liberty Aerospace there. We're going to be, they're going to be manufacturing it under their production certificate, so we have a system down there that works, and we're pretty confident that we're going to have a pretty smooth launch on the aircraft as a certified aircraft. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Please keep us up to date and we're looking forward to seeing the certified version out and about. Aero TV is brought to you by since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Over the past two decades, no resource has compiled as much expert valued information about the sport plane world than the Sport Plane Resource Guide. Over 1,500 pages, hundreds of aircraft, dozens of how-tos and directories. All this and more will be coming to the sport aviation world soon with the new all-electronic and updatable Sport Plane Resource Guide for your iPad, iPhone, Kindle, tablet, PC, or other electronic devices. Get your order in now www.sportplane.com